Today, Apple released iOS 17.4 to the public. So in this video, we're going to go over what's new and everything that you need to know about this update. And at the end, I'll let you know, is it worth updating or should you wait? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. As you can see, this is the update itself. It's a few gigs, as you can see right there. So um, when you start downloading, it should take about 15 minutes or so. Remember, this does not replace any memory on your phone. This is simply overriding the OS that currently is running. So you're not going to lose any memory on this. Just letting you know how big the file is. Now we're going to go into the change log here. And here are all the changes. If you want to read them, you can pause the video. But I'm going to go over all the important ones that are in this update. So... Let's go ahead and let you read that and then of course with any update there's always going to be security so my obvious recommendation is if you care about your security then obviously updating is important because they do patch a bunch of bugs and other vulnerabilities so definitely update if you want to be at, at the most secure point but in terms of features we're going to go ahead and get into that right now so i'm going to download this update and i'll be right back now that we updated iOS to 17.4, this is the first thing you'll see if you haven't gone to 17.3 or even 17.2. This is a new feature Apple added because in the past there was a major vulnerability where people could change your password using a simple method and Apple addressed that by adding this feature here called stolen device protection, basically making it a lot harder to change your Apple ID password and lock you out of your account completely using a simple passcode on your iPhone because that was the method before they fixed it so this is how they got around it um, you can opt in and I highly recommend you do so we're going to go ahead and do that here but you'll be greeted with this uh, splash screen upon updating to iOS 17.4 if you haven't done it on an uh previous version 17.2 or even 17.3 so we're going to go ahead and kind of go through this we're going to skip through some of this okay so the first thing we're going to go into is the method i always say when you update to any version is first we're going to go to settings and then go to general then about and if you have any carrier updates it will populate here and this is important because of course this has to do with your cell network you want the best and strongest connection possible so if there is an update definitely update it so you can get the best connection and most stable connection for your cell network so go there once you're done with all that then next up you would go to the app store let it load this is all new then you're going to go to your icon at the top here. And if there's any apps that need to be updated, which there will be on your phone, they're going to be right here. Now you're going to want to swipe down and reload to get them all to populate. But always update your apps after an update. Because, of course, when Apple updates their OS, the developers of an app needs to adjust to that to make sure their app works well with the new update. So update your apps. So you don't have any compatibility issues or any bugs or anything that will make the experience less intriguing, I guess you would say. So make sure you update all your apps after any update you do to the phone. Uh, one of the major changes is in Apple Music, but they now changed the Listen Now button to the Home button. So you don't, you'll no longer see Listen Now right here. You'll just see home and then they also added a new playlist where it updates monthly to all the songs you constantly go to or like to frequent that playlist will update as new songs come and go and it's a monthly update so that's a new feature that they added to apple music those two and in podcasts we type that in here if you go to the podcast app, 
they added a new feature where podcasts have transcripts. But you'll be able to do a, a transcript like Apple Music lyrics. So if we can play a podcast. We're going to mute it, of course, for copyright. But if you, as it's showing you right there, you click it. And as you can see now, there's the transcripts for the whole podcast. This is similar to the Apple Music lyrics page. So this will look familiar to you. But now any podcast you read or read any podcast you listen to, you can now read it and follow along. So this is a pretty nice feature if you want to see exactly what was said. Um, I'm pretty sure this, use a this uses AI. So... It might not be as accurate, but as time goes on, it'll get a lot more accurate. But that was a new change for the podcast app. Now we're going to go ahead and check out a new widget. It's not really anything major, but they added a new widget to this version. So if we try and edit the home screen here, go to add, go to the widget, go to clocks. That you see there. Now they added a new widget called city clocks. If we scroll through should be this one right here. Yeah, city clocks. And basically what this does is it is tailored to a city that you choose and the clock will change appearance based on the time of day. But it's mainly just a, a nice digital clock as these are rare. Apple tends to add, you know, the analog. So this is a pretty nice addition. You can also add this to standby if you want to use this font. And as mentioned, as the time goes on, the clock will change from light to dark and you can set it to a city that's near you or that you live in. If Not all cities will be added, so you can just pick the city that's nearest to you and it will go off that. So it's a little widget they added. It's nothing major. Another new addition they added in iOS 17.4 is new emojis. Every time Apple updates their iPhone, software they tend to add these this is unicode 15.1 i believe so here are some of the new emojis you can see if i can try and focus um you have the head shaking up and down left and right you have a phoenix some change breaking there mushroom so these are all the new emojis and they also have different skin tones and other stuff so it's a lot but um here are some of the new ones they added so if you start seeing these, you have to be on 17.4 to see them. So if someone uses this and you're on an older version, it will probably show up as a question mark or a empty box. So if you do see this, that would be why they're trying to use these new emojis. So this is new in 17.4 as well. Another big change in iOS 17.4 has to do with the battery. But unfortunately, this is only for the iPhone 15 models. For some reason, Apple did not bring this down to any other iPhone model, but I'm gonna show you anyways for those that have an iPhone 15. So when you go to the battery health section, they now broke it up into two categories. Originally, it was battery health was one section and you click into it and it, it'll show a bunch of information. They made this more simple and more informative. So now when you click into the settings, you get this new layout here so it gives you everything you need to know about your battery including status tells you that it's normal your cycle count this is important because apple updated how many cycles it will take before your uh, battery starts degrading so that will tell you how close you are to potentially losing performance then you have your actual performance here at capacity so this one's at 100 percent and then it even tells you when your battery was made and when it started being used. So this is really useful for those that are on the lower end of capacity and you need to manage your battery. Um, this will help you a lot. But as mentioned before, this is only for the iPhone 15 models. So if you are trying to find this in your older iPhone, this won't appear for some reason. We don't know why Apple did not add this and I hope they do in the future. But this is another new feature in 17.4 for the iPhone 15 models, a better battery management tool. That's basically everything that's new in iOS 17.4. This is a small update. 
um, as we get closer to iOS 18, it's going to get smaller. But all in all, they did add a few things, so that's a good thing. Now, the question I always ask is, should you update? And I'm going to give you the answer now, and that is, yeah, why not? I mean, you're not going to lose much off of it. Um, if security is a big thing for you, as I mentioned earlier, then definitely update for sure, as they do patch a bunch of bugs and vulnerabilities, as always. So um, if you're having issues with your phone, i.e. battery connection or freezing or anything of that nature, just go ahead and update because I'm pretty sure they fixed it um, in this version, 17.4. Uh, otherwise, it's not really big in features, so you're not missing out on much other than the emojis and maybe the pod um, podcast transcripts. So... It's up to you, but I, I do recommend updating. There's not much you're going to lose off of it, and you get more stability and more security. So just go ahead and make the update. Do it while you're going to sleep. You, you won't even notice it. So that is everything that's in 17.4. I hope this helped you, and I hope you like this type of video. If it did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, as it will help me out. Um... And if you have any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. But until then, this is JMO signing out and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.